We all love roses and can't resist their fragrance, so it's natural we want to keep them as healthy as possible. Yet, however hard you try, you're likely to come across a disease called rose black spot. From late spring through to early summer, you may start to see some black blotches developing on the leaves. These, later in the season, can even turn to yellowing edges. And if you look more closely at the stems, you may even see some black lesions. And these can be present on the stems throughout the year. It's a fungal disease that thrives in warm and wet weather. Sometimes the leaves may fall prematurely. And in some cases, the plant can become completely defoliated. Usually this doesn't have any effect on the flowering. However, if the rose gets black spot in successive years or actually repeatedly in one season, then that gives a lot of stress onto the plant and it may reduce the flowering. If we have a wet summer, you'll also see the fungal disease affecting new growth too. So what can we do to keep our roses healthy? So healthy roses are more disease resistant. And the most important thing is the soil you have for your roses. They like deep, fertile, well-conditioned soil, and particularly clay soils. So to improve your soil, add a generous layer of mulch in late winter. This has two benefits. Firstly, it'll improve the structure of the soil, but also help to retain moisture. And secondly, so adding a layer of mulch across the soil surface will cover the fungal spores and prevent them spreading. And it'll also encourage more flowers for you to enjoy. And garden hygiene is really important too. So clear away any leaves that have fallen around the base of the plant. And you can dispose them in your council green bin. And it's also worth considering removing some of the most badly affected leaves, like these leaves here. But don't take too many, because that will further stress the plant. And when you're pruning in the winter, you can remove those most badly affected stems. And if there are any leaves remaining, these can be removed too. And if your roses are really badly affected, maybe it's time to change. So visit your local garden centre or talk to a rose specialist and ask their advice on those roses most resistant to rose black spot. So when you get your new roses home, try to plant them in a new location as there is a disease called rose replant disorder, poorly understood, but it does suggest that roses planted in a different place will perform better. Rose black spot is a very common fungal infection as the spores can travel long distances. And we've also found that resistance to the disease wanes over time. However, if you follow our tips, you'll be able to enjoy roses in your garden long into the future.